Welcome back to Quantified Strategies. Today we show you three index trading strategies complete with specific trading rules and settings so that we can backtest them to find if they have worked in the past. Stick to the end and we'll also answer questions about the easiest indexes to trade and the best way to trade them. By the way, if you find our videos helpful and enjoyable, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. Your support means a lot to us as it helps boost our visibility on YouTube and enables us to keep creating valuable content and videos. Thanks for supporting us. Now back to the three index trading strategies. So, what is index trading? That is a financial index that tracks different asset prices, for example, a basket of stocks. That said, and without further ado, we jump straight to the first one of our three index trading strategies. The strategy is called the Commodities to Equity Ratio Trading Strategy. It might have a slightly difficult name, but it has performed well, and we need to use two indexes to backtest it. The Commodities to Equity Ratio is simply a division between the S and P Goldman Sachs Commodity Index and S and P 500. Of course, you can also use another commodity index, but Goldman Sachs is a widely used benchmark. The ratio indicates which index is outperforming or underperforming, if the ratio is increasing, it suggests that commodities are performing better than stocks. Opposite, a decreasing ratio implies that stocks are outperforming commodities. Let's backtest the strategy in Python, and we use the following trading rules as shown on the screen. The idea is to take advantage of the asset class performing better at any given time. The equity curves show that the strategy beats buying and holding S&P 500, although it's a bumpy ride. It's a pretty volatile strategy, but the results are inspiring. The strategy returns almost 9% annually, which is more than one percentage point better than S&P 500, not including reinvested dividends. You might wonder we why chose a moving average of 21 days. Is that an optimized setting? No, it's not the optimal setting. The strategy works best with a short moving average, and it gets less efficient the more days in the average. Let's go to the second of our three index trading strategies. This one is also a rotation strategy where we are invested in a growth or value index ETF, depending on the performance of each index. Why value and growth? Stocks are usually labeled growth or value, and value has been one of the best performing factors of all time. Value has outperformed growth historically, even though growth had a terrific last decade. Can VI make a profitable index trading strategy that rotates between value and growth and is better than buy and hold? Let's look at two index ETFs that track value and growth, IUSV, which tracks value stocks, and IUSG, which tracks growth stocks. We made a weekly strategy that has the rules shown on the screen. It's a moving average crossover system, and it has performed well since 2001. Our rotation system has beaten both indexes nicely. The annual return of almost 9% is significantly better than both index ETFs, and this is achieved with less volatility and risk. This is exactly what we are looking for in an index trading strategy. Let's finish with our last strategy, of the three index trading strategies. This strategy is only for our paying subscribers and it's strategy number two on our landing page for member strategies. The strategy was published in October 2021 and thus it has been live for almost two years in addition to the 12-month incubation we always use before we release or start trading anything. It has one trading rule for when to buy and one for when to sell it can hardly get any simpler. This means the reversion strategy has performed well on SPY, the ETF that tracks S&P 500. 100,000 invested in 1993 is worth almost 7 million today. This equals an annual return of 15.5%, with an average gain per trade of 0.8%, which should provide a wide margin of security for slippage and commissions. The returns are pretty good considering the strategy is invested only 35% of the time and has a modest max drawdown of 22% and drawdowns don't last for a long time. We have now presented you with three index trading strategies and we always recommend trading a diversified portfolio of trading strategies. There is no sure thing in the financial markets and hence we recommend trading different markets, timeframes, strategies and market directions. However, we emphasize that the index trading strategies we used in this video are just examples and not investment advice. 
always make sure you trade in a demo account before you trade live. Before we end the video, we'd like to answer some typical frequently asked questions about index trading strategies. Which are the easiest indexes to trade? First, trading is not easy. However, we believe the stock market is the best to trade. Stock index trading strategies, of which there are plenty, can be found in multiple liquid ETFs that track an index. The stock market is also very diverse. Our experience is that commodities and Forex are the hardest to trade. What is the best way to trade index trading strategies? That depends on the market. For stocks, short-term mean reversion has worked well, but also long-term trends because of the tailwind from inflation and productivity gains. That said, you need to backtest before you commit real money because there is no specific best way to trade an index. What is the difference between trading stocks and index strategies? The biggest difference is volatility. Because an index is the sum of the many, it's normally less volatile than an individual stock. You are more diversified when trading an index compared to a single stock. Even if you are trading many stocks, adverse movements from one stock can create havoc in your portfolio. It's worth noting that trading stocks and index strategies are not mutually exclusive. Some investors employ a hybrid approach, combining both trading individual stocks and using index strategies for broader market exposure or hedging. Is index trading strategies better than Forex? That one is easy to answer. Yes, index trading strategies are better than Forex. We regard Forex as the hardest market to trade. Thank you so much for joining us today. We sincerely hope you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. And don't forget to click on the notification bell so you never miss an update. In our next video, we'll be diving into the world of mean reversion trading strategies. We'll explore five unique trading strategies that are sure to pique your interest. So stay tuned. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. We love hearing from you and always strive to bring you the best possible content. Until next time, take care and happy trading.